welcome everybody to CCTV. Check this out. Uh, Mark Reed over on Facebook was asked by um, Martira Rubble's Gil Chavez to what are these lights in the sky he caught. And I don't know where it's from. Uh, Acapulco, Mexico, which is about right. And um, So check this out. Um, I got this in my in my filter. This is on the Facebook, but I'm going to show you my filter version of this. Filter version. I did a little bit of work before I got on here. With my eraser right here. Let me show you something, guys. Get a race piece, right? Okay. That's a race piece. I want to do it. So they're objects. You got it? So they're leaving a signature that I think is pretty interesting. signatures. See how it leaves a signature? Let's go a little deeper. And so, these objects are, they're real objects. Mark x-rayed them, got me curious. So I said, I'm going to do a little show on it. So I'm going to take you into the forensic now. It's going to be a little forensic show, you know. So, um, what I call a forensic show, filtering show. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Now let's go into the eraser. That was the eraser. Let's go into my filter. No, oh, wrong, wrong one. Filter. No, that's eraser. Filter right here. Now on the filter, I did a little bit of filtering. So these are round, bright red objects. They really got a a red glow to them. I'm just kind of going through the filters right now. Definitely something there. Now if I go ahead and do the auto correct, they even get brighter. So these objects, to me, guys, I'm going to tell you honestly. Let's say we take this object right here. I'm going to take my little pencil here and get it small enough. It's almost the outer rim. When I first looked at this, I was like, this is an outer rim. This is like each one of these, right, is a saucer. That's what I was just thinking out loud, right? I said, okay. So, could that be? Well, let's go deeper. So I did my little filter on it. I'm going to do some auto filters while I'm here. These are preset. The two suns is preset. Now we count. I'll tell you right now. Watch how we count this right now and then watch what happens. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects, right? But there's actually nine. And I'll show you. I'm going to show you that. Go a little bit more darker. These are just uh, dehazing it. I do the auto correct, and these things got a lot of energy coming out of them. In front of this cloud, this is just a cloud. I've, I've dehazed it and I've uh, tried to erase it, and this is just a cloud that this, these objects are sitting in front of. I also notice that we have these little triangles forming, right? See these little triangles? Well, there's got to be two more, right? So watch. Okay, so. Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to show you a couple of filters. 
we got some good music. These things are putting out some energy, man. I like this one. No, I don't like that one. Now this is just, I don't know what this picture means. There you go. So as you can see, they're real objects and they're doing something, right? Haha, <laughs> that's pretty wild. Okay, let's go on. Let me see here, what's next? Alright, it's my favorite little tool. We got what we call a magnifier. Those are uh, music's created on Evo. Got kind of loud. Sorry about that. Some songs are louder. But on my magnifier, I'm gonna do the auto contrast. We're gonna go up close. See, so each one we're looking at an object. Okay, so and we got an auto contract by channel. It's gonna give you a little bit more separation of. Well, remember I told you I seen like a circle around it. Could each one of these be the, you know, just a, is that the magnetic field or is that the radiation? You know, I don't know, guys. It definitely ships, and I'll prove that to you, no, no doubt. So this little forensic tool is pretty neat to have. You can get really close, find out what stuff is. See, I think that right there is an object because it gets red, you'll see. And this stuff, I declouded it, didn't find nothing of any interest. But I think that's a ship or some type of craft. Right there in the clouds. Now, let's go on. So clone detection. This little device here will show me clones. And I see behind, I can't zoom in on this. I guess I could. But behind, like this up, clone detector behind this object right here, let's quantumize. Now, let's do a count. Remember, we talked about the count, right? Now, this is showing, this is the clone. This is like whatever's really here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, yeah like nine this is a maybe ten okay so let's unquantum it quantumize now see the little lines here similarities like point ten um, and then you have different levels of similarities see how it turns it off so point ten and there could actually be invisible objects we don't see just saying so we know at, at point 10 there's cloned objects right behind those little purple ones this little device up here and this little object down here remember that it's showing it as an object We know the tree's an object, but what's up beside the tree? So ten objects, right? We've got that. And that's the clone device. See how they're they're showing you there's more things in the sky that meets the eye. See those are all clone clone pieces. As I scroll through this device, they'll keep showing you which ones are exactly the same objects. They're identical.
Pretty wild, huh? Okay, listen to some music for a second. I like this song. Okay, we got that. We're gonna... All right, let's get off of this one. Now in this shot right here, it shows you the surrounding area. So you get to see the surrounding area of it. You got a magnifier on here. Here's your opacity. Bring it right back to the normal picture, right? You see the edge of that thing? Error scale. You can see that each item has that blue ring around it. So they could be saucers. Just saying. And as you bring the opacity in, you start seeing the actual. contrast by channel gives you just a little bit more now by noise you got your hub inside the middle and then you got this green outer layer showing you a rim of metal like I said I, I checked it out before I, I did this the one two three four five six so all you see some kind of object right there bring your opacity back down bam same picture so got the little shape around the edge right so you see the little arrow okay we cleared that up right so we know we got something real a little bit more intense view now let's go to the level sweep I'm just gonna bring it from the opacity Look at that, guys. Come on. Diamond shaped. This is straight out of some, well, some kind of science fiction storybook. There's one up there, and there's something there, and there's something there, but. This gives you a little bit more how they're glowing in the clouds. See that object right there? That black object? That's something. Okay, now, Luminous Grotinus. This one's a real cake. This is a cherry on the cake. You see that? These are actually orbs. They're actually objects, guys. It shows the roundness of it, the texture of it. For sure, the 3D, they're real. We x-rayed them, we knew they were real. But I'm telling you right now, these things are flying saucers. There's the outer rim. Here's the outer rim. I took the intensity off of it. The opacity off of it. You can see we have nine, actually nine flying saucers. 
Right there's that one I told you was hiding. It was cloaked. One right here is cloaked behind this one. Wow, epic, huh? Nice catch, guys. We go down here to the principal components. Luminous Granus. And it will show you another version right there. There's an inverted version of it. You see how it indents the cloud, guys? Wow. Three D object. That's a real object. I'm gonna rise. Color. Here we go. That's the ultimate right there. Stuff going on. Oh, look at that. There's the center. And there's the outer edge. So we got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven objects, guys. Not seeing any difference in them. These things are red hot energy, man. Whew. Who knows what they're beaming down on these people, right? Come on. Get with the program. Distance apart. There you go. A little introverted. Saucers, baby, saucers. Okay, so what do you do when you see stuff like this in Alcapoco? Well, according to four years of study in Alcapoco, this is about normal. We've seen all kinds of plasma strikes and warfare in the sky. Me and Ken have, uh, Ken K, one of my researchers, we've seen this stuff. These are like little suns, you know, of energy. Look at these things. So ain't no ball cloud lightning. Oh, someone's like, that's, that's ball lightning. That ain't no ball lightning. Get a grip. Now, what I'm saying that is, see that? They are objects, guys. All right. Music Maestro. Talk to you later. Thanks, Mark Reed, for that one.
Don't 